Hi, just to follow up to this uh, Siglent SDG 2122X ARB generator that failed. Wah, 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 wah. And um, I figured it might have been like, you know, the file system OS or something like that. I can't remember the details. Original video linked in down below. Anyway, it failed. It just fails to boot. It doesn't recognize any of the key presses or anything like that. And uh, Siglent saw my video. I didn't contact them. They just saw it and uh, sent me an email and say, hey, yeah, this ARB gen that they sent me is had like really early pre-release firmware in it or something so um yeah that's the reason why it failed so like a, a proper production version of the firmware shouldn't have failed and sure enough uh yes um i speculated that you know it might be able to uh, update the uh re-initialize um the thing via the uh, micro sd card uh, right down on the board and sure enough they sent me uh, the latest firmware and instructions so thank you very much Siglent please excuse the crudity of this uh, screen capture but here we go um, basically you prepare an SD card they've sent me the files you use this HP USB uh, storage formatty thing to format the thing and then you copy the choose fat32 blah 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 and then you copy over the files and what do you do then? Safely unplug the car, uh, stick it in, stick it up its clacker, I think. And uh, where is it? I don't know. I haven't read it yet. Disassembly, blah, blah, blah. So they've actually gone into quite some detail here of how to, uh, how to do all this. So that's pretty impressive. Um, whether or not they had this, uh, I'm sure maybe they did have it ready. Um, it's probably for like, um, uh, you know, service agents and uh, dealers and uh, stuff like that. Um, connect these two pads using a soldering iron. Hmm. What? To change the boot sequence. Oh, okay. Right. Hang on. Let's see if that's in there. Yep. Yep, sure enough. There it is right down there. Ta-da! So I've got to uh, short those out. Could have, it would have been nice to put on the silk screen there, but, you know, I don't necessarily blame them. You don't want people dicking around with that sort of stuff, I guess. Um, if you're a company <laughs> selling products like this, and you don't want us uh, pain in the ass, um, curious people to dick around. So we short that out. I'm not going to short it out with solder. That's a bit medieval. Um, and blah, you stick it in and you power it on, and I think it... Uh, it does the business. Anyway, I'll read all the uh, requisite details and I'll format the SD card and let you know. Okay, files copied. Let's try the old tweezer approach. There we go. Stick it down. Hold your tongue at the right angle. Let's power it up. Woohoo! Does it? It works! It's alive! Beautiful! No worries whatsoever. Short removed, SD card removed. Let's power it up. Oh, by the way, I didn't have to use that HP uh, format utility. I tried and it gave me a, a write, disk write protected error. So I didn't know how to fix that. Um, I, anyway, so I just copied the files over. It was already a FAT32 micro SD card. Uh, copied that over, no worries. Bob's your uncle. Bob is my uncle. Well, we'll see. Come on, boot up. Hey, we're in. Yay! It's back. It's working. It's back from the future. Utility, I should have the uh, latest version. Uh, Siglent do recommend everyone who's got this update to the latest... Huh? Update to the latest uh, version, which is... There you go, hardware version. Um, uh, software version, 2.01.01.23R8. Whatever that is. Anyway, there you go. Startup times too. It reset the uh, startup counter as well. So there you go. There's a little tip for you eBay scammers out there. If you want to uh, uh, make your instrument as new, <laughs> and you can actually um, just reflash the firmware like this, and it resets the startup timer, and you can say, oh, it's never been used, it's straight out of books. box, look, I only powered it up uh, twice to get the photos. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thank you very much, Sigmund. Um, it works, yes, so uh, no fault with the actual unit itself. I don't blame, like, uh, you know, pre-release 
uh, firmware or anything like that. So, yeah, I they definitely sent me a pre-release version of this. So that's what it was. Anyway, there you go. Beauty. Win-win a chicken dinner. Catch you next time.